Hello and welcome to Cybernetic Conversations. Today let's nose dive directly into one of the coolest techniques that I've ever seen that is generating QR code images. I'll show you how this works. So first let me put a prompt here. I'll put a negative prompt here. You just have to put something in a negative prompt it will give you better results I'm gonna click on high res fix I just generated one without the high resolution fix but yeah let me generate another one with the high resolution fix it gives a better quality image All right, we have another image now. I'm going to send it to image to image. Now I'm going to click on control net. Here I have the QR code. So I'm going to put another QR code there at the top. Enable the control net. And then I'm going to choose the tile preprocessor. I'm going to choose the tile model as well. I'm going to go to another control net tab and now here I'm going to paste in the image, enable the control net and choose depth Midas and in the model I'm going to choose another depth model and that's about it I guess. Let's hit on generate and see what we get. So if I don't change any parameters in the control net, I'll get most of what is there in the tile control net here, which is the QR code. As you can see there, it's just the QR code. But now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to shift the starting control step and I'm going to I'm going to slide in slide back the the ending control step and now if I click on generate uh, let me just change the control weight a little bit I'm not going to change anything here yeah that's good enough so now if I click on generate I should be getting a better result let's see what we get now so first the image gets formed and then the tile control net takes over it gives in the QR code and then it stops the QR code and then the image stabilizes so now we have something there much better image than the previous one with the QR code so I'm gonna tweak this a little bit and click on generate once again uh, we need a little more information in the uh, QR code uh, of the image here so what I did is that I extended the start and the end part of the tile control net now I should be getting a better image yes this is better this is better so let me just check with my mobile phone it doesn't work yet it doesn't work yet so I have to tweak the parameter a little more let me extend the ending uh, uh, steps and generate once again and now I should be getting more information of the QR code in the image let's see if we can try and jump to the link let me just confirm with my mobile phone yes I can go to the link this is the link of my friend youtuber prompt engineering you might want to check his channel out he creates a lot of content related to generative ai yeah this link works let's try another example here i'm going to choose another anime character I'm going to copy in the prompt 
I just generated this prompt using chat GPT and I'm gonna paste the prompt here and now if I click on generate I also have updated the control net section uh, I now should be getting the anime image with the QR code uh, the process is the same you have to tweak in the tile part of the control net and you don't have to tweak in the other depth part of the control net so now I got the QR code here and it works it works just like the previous code so now we know how to create QR code from uh, the base image and the QR code so now I've, I have sent the image to control net uh, sorry in paint and I have in painted the uh, the top three corners the, top, the, the corner blocks of the QR code and if I in paint the remaining section now uh, I can tweak in the middle portion of the QR code and it looks a little better than the previous uh, image so now the QR code kind of merges with the image it blends in better than if you don't do the in painting work sometimes you will have to do the in painting work to get a better image just like how the case is when generating other normal images as well so now this is a better QR code image blended uh, with the anime character here and I guess this works too so let me tweak this tile section a little more and see if we can blend it further with the image I change the denoising strength you can also change the denoising strength if you increase the denoising strength it becomes a little creative and if you decrease it it becomes more like the, the base image and yeah now the QR code blends much better with the clothes of the character and yeah there we go here is how we can create QR codes uh, QR code images try it a few more times and try to see if it blends further but this is how it works uh, you need two types of uh, control net I uh, I use the depth control net and the tile control net and uh, you can make QR codes just like that QR code working QR code functional QR code generated via stable diffusion now let's take a look at another image and uh, another example and in this example I'm going to just use chat GPT to write an art prompt of of a wolf let's try an art prompt of a wolf so the QR code kind of works better with art like images than realistic images so uh, this is how you can generate uh, an art just ask chat GPT GPT-4 gives much better uh, art prompts than GPT-3.5 and yeah you can just copy paste whatever text it generates into the stable diffusion usually there is another way of writing prompts for stable diffusion that is using keywords you can do that as well but uh, this way of prompting is much easier you can always add in the keywords later on if you want to change parts of the image but for now I'm gonna just use this as an example so let me just wait for the chat GPT to finish its text output yeah copy in that go up here and I'm gonna paste in in the text to image section so now I'm going to get an art that is ukiyo-e style 
art now these type of art work much better with the QR codes so I have upscaled it by 1.5 yeah beautiful art I'm gonna send it to image to image looking at Olivio's uh, YouTube channel I'm gonna copy in the, the URL he does very good videos of uh, stable diffusion you might have to you might want to check his channel as well if you want to learn more about stable diffusion and uh, yeah I'm gonna copy in the QR code from this website I'm gonna just uh, save it and now in the image to image section I'm gonna paste that QR code one goes in the control net as well make sure that you have the same QR code otherwise you won't get the uh, links working and in the other depth control net I pasted the image that I just generated I clicked on this generate button and let's see what kind of image we get now we have the fox with the QR code getting generated beautiful let's see if this works let me just pull out my mobile phone and yes there we go we can now reach Olivio's channel from this QR code so now if I want to tweak the image a little more I can change the denoising strength or I can change the uh, tile section of the control net I've just sent it to in painting and I just uh, mask the three dots of the QR code the big dots and I in painted the remaining section to tweak in a little more now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna reduce the QR code information from the image so that it becomes a little more artistic I think there are other methods as well which I don't know where we can generate much better QR code images but this one works every time two days ago I saw a post on reddit where someone has generated absolutely beautiful images QR code images if you know other methods please let me know in the comment section below so let me change in the denoising strength a little more and yes let's see how the image gets generated so it's a lot of tweaking we have to do to get the image that we really like so the concept is simple you have to tweak in the tile section so oh, this has come up really good it's working it's working all you have to do is yeah tweak in the tile section and keep the midas the depth control net the same you don't have to bother much with that and if you want you can up the denoising strength to make it a little more artistic so I just cranked it up all the way to one and now I should get a little more artistic image let's see what we get yes it is artistic and it's working the QR code is working so there we go folks this is how we generate QR code without Photoshop in automatic 1111 11. thank you for watching if you like my video hit on the like button and subscribe for more videos like this cheers